days ago, J. Cole released a diss track called Seven Minute Drill aimed at Kendrick Lamar. There seems to be some regret on his part. At his Dreamville Festival performance, he apologized for the track and criticizing Lamar's talent. He acknowledged Lamar's greatness and expressed that the diss track didn't feel right. Cole even opened himself up to a potential response track from Kendrick, saying he'd take that shit on the chin. Here's the video of him apologizing. Me, right? So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because... Y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, Bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh, my fucking God. Text flooded, I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime, boom, 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 right? <laughs> Niggas wanna see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart, you know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted, because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back, and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk. That shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness, I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all, the past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I wanna, I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I wanna do that for y'all right now. After watching it, We'll share our take on the situation from different angles. Let's explore the different angles. Some see his apology as a mature move, acknowledging a misstep and exiting a situation he wasn't comfortable with. Others criticize the release of the diss track Seven Minute Drill in the first place, calling it weak and a poor decision. They argue self-awareness should have prevented its release. The back and forth between diss track and apology is seen by some as immature and a way to save face on both ends. However, the fans' true desire is often overlooked. Many hoped for a lyrical battle between the two rappers, resulting in high-quality music. Instead, the quick apology left them disappointed. J. Cole's past lyrics boasting about his skills and comparing himself to legends clash with his recent apology. This creates confusion for some listeners who find it hard to reconcile his past bravado with his more humble tone now. Was Cole's apology a mature move? 
or a face-saving tactic? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching Muse Cafe.